And I thought I'd have able to go at the um, all the different plates. But this time I've popped in a um, quarter inch drill bit instead of the router bit. And I've just flipped them over. I wasn't completely convinced that they were um, spotting the right spots. So I'm going to another go. And the first issue I had today, because the drill's a bit longer, the Z was normally, the safe Z was set to 75, plus 75. So I had to just change that one by just doing the edit and then changing the 25, the 75 to a 25 so it didn't quite go up as high because it nearly ran out of the stop at the top. Let's see how we go. Well, I wasn't going to, um, I had to go at respotting them, but that drill that I had, the only quarter inch drill I've got, was just a little bit bent, so she was wobbly around. So I'm going to go and drill the ones I've got and tap the ones I need to and just get, get started on the rebuild. Yeah, I was just laying this out just to check all my measurements and I just sort of realised I kind of stuffed up just a little bit. What I wanted was this sitting up on the edge so that on the uh, uprights for the gantry I could have different holes so that I could make it adjustable height so I'd only have to take out a couple of bolts and I could, you know, drop the whole gantry to make it lower. But the measurements I've actually got were with these actually sitting like this with the upright of the gantry sitting like this. So I kind of stuffed up a little bit, but never mind, it won't just won't be adjustable unless I trim all that off, which I can't be asked doing. Alright, so I got all the holes um, drilled and tapped. We got top two for the uh, linear shaft supports, bottom two bearing ends. The uh, machining is a little bit tight there, I'll have to sand some of that off with some emery paper. Same on the other end, uh, the fixed end, four big holes, which, which is for the motor which is going to sit out here. I've got got some uh, inch bar which I'm going to turn down to use as spaces for the motor. There'll be four of those, but otherwise it's just the same on both ends. Same here with the bearing, it's a little bit tight. I'll have to sand that off with some memory paper. Getting there though. And I got uh, the underneath bearing plates drilled. Stuffed up a little bit on the holes, they're not, not quite all in line so I'm going to leave these two and drill them when the plate's actually on there which is the uh, plate under here. Getting there though slowly. Alright well everything drilled and tapped and everything where it should be. Um, the only thing I haven't decided yet is how to do the uh, stepper motor. So I've got this bit of angle that's going to sit in under here for the stepper to mount on, but that's the only thing. But all drilled and tapped, all drilled and tapped, drilled and tapped. Have to shorten these up a little bit because they're a bit too long. Um, as I mentioned before, I was going to make it adjustable height, but I can't really do that now without cutting more. So I'm going to have to just cut these off to roughly the same height as they're going to be. On, on how it is at the moment. Got the front, the only thing, only two holes I have to drill about here for the uh, ball screw mount. But other than that, um, just about there, I'll be able to start rebuilding the rest of it. I'll do the underneath part perhaps tomorrow. Getting there, getting there. Yeah, and the other thing I finished off today was this little thing to sit over the end of the sit over the end of the router because on these air cooled ones, air air goes in the bottom and out the in the top and out the bottom, and it just blows shit everywhere. So just knock that up 
to redirect the air up. I know it's not the best for tool cooling but uh, water cooled ones on wood don't have any air blowing on them so I figured it should be alright. I don't mind blunt and they'll ruin any odd, you know, three dollar bit. It's just better than being covered in dust and breathing it all in too. Then I'll be able to stick a uh, vacuum down where the bit is and be dust free hopefully. <laughs>